hello and welcome to first video of this channel so today i'll be showing you how you can create the material design text field uh, as you can you might have seen lately that this new design pops up when you log into popular websites like google or netflix so it has a hint inside the box and when you activate the text bar when you give focus to it the label goes up and this area becomes writable for the user so we'll be looking into this today so i'll create a android project first material text field and then let's keep it default so we'll need a library to import in our project so let's grab it so you can get the library from the official website of material.io so we'll need to configure this first start from here and paste it into our not in the build application build.gear but in the project level build.gear so as you can see it's already added here google and json too. then we need this library so add this library in the dependencies of app level grader let's sync, sync the project and then there's another thing like you have to refactor your project to android x so because material supports only android x so and it need a minimum of 28 compiled SDK version. So we have to do two things now. So let's oh we got error here. Same to go manifest. Okay, we have to add this component. So this is a workaround. <laughs> For this error, I don't know how to fix that, but this is a workaround, so hopefully it should work now. So let's rebuild the project. So the grader is built, but it's giving this error that Android X is already present. So as you can see, that the minimum is set to 28. I mean, the target is set to 20, minimum is 22. So I search on Google, I found that if you refactor your project to my android x then this gets resolved by its own so anyhow we have to do that so let's do it it says back at the let's uncheck that we don't need that so let's wait to migrate to android x and yes of course we want to do this so let's wait for the migration process So we have moved to Android X now and as you can see the dependencies also changed from Android to Android X. So now let's go to our main XML file which we are going to work now. So let's change from constraint to linear layout. Now so first we need to input holder. Here we need text input layout first, so let's add it. So it will be a match parent and wrap height is the wrap center. And inside we will have text input. This will be edit text, which is grabbed from the material Android X form material dot text field. And here we'll have same match parent and wrap content now we need one more thing to add here which is style and our style will be outline boxed so uh, this will make look our app like this our apps edit text like this so let's just run the app now so i have loaded the So the app is here. So I have loaded my, casted my 
phone's screen using this extension called visor so if i open the edit text we can see the thing edit text here with the border of primary accent color and if i type anything it will look like this so i'll add a hint here let's put app name and let's again run the app it's launch let's check so as you can see hopefully that it goes up and if you type something there so the label is going up and it's making a gap between the border so it's really cool and it's same like this as we wanted so we can also there's an option to customize the color of border which we get will give like for stroke color let's say primary let's primary so primary is green now it will change to green let's give some margin 20. now let's run the app Border is changed to primary color, but the label still is in the accent color and the inside text is in black color. So let's check whether we have label color. Text color and primary. Hopefully this will do the job. Okay, so it's hint is in let me hint again. Hint is in green color, but the label is turning into prime primary accent. So let's check that. box background color also let me just change our primary to something cool let's put this and border color i think this is the workaround for that Yep, so our label and the border color is of same color. So you can set it like that. So I think this is it for the video. This is what I wanted to show you. And if you are interested in more styles, you have four more style or three more style actually, total four in the text input layout. So those are outfield fill box and fill box dense and outline then outline then so play around with it you can find the documentation on uh, this website androidmaterial.io and one more thing if you are interested to go in deeper so i have created a simple login page for this using the new text field so this is the email address and the next field is password and the password is hidden using this toggle to password toggle uh, option so you can also get the code from github i'll provide the link in the description and also the link for the material.io website so thank you for watching i'll see you in next one goodbye